Hello everybody and welcome back to the Football Manager Derby County Save where we are playing Zenit in the quarterfinal second leg of the Europa Conference League and I've just realised where I've done a computer upgrade I've managed to import all of the graphics but I haven't done the name change so it's still called the Euro Cup 2 which is probably more favourable than calling it the Europa Conference League. I, the Conference League bit... I don't know if it's the same around Europe that everyone knows the conference is terrible in terms of football pyramid level. But in terms of England, Conference League just means rubbish, really. Compared to Premier League, obviously they're much better players than me in the Conference League. But yeah, it just generally means rubbish, doesn't it? But anyway, here we are. Uh, Zenit St. Petersburg are coming to Pride Park and it is a very narrow lead for us in this. A 3-2 win in the first leg so all to play for in this knockout tie and it's been not too bad so we beat Carabag 1-0 uh, and in the last episode and the Wolves in the FA Cup quarter final we beat Arsenal 2-0 who are top of the table but then we lost to Brighton 2-0 which uh, isn't the best we beat Zenit St. Petersburg 3-2 in the Euro Cup 2 quarter final first leg and Fulham 2-1 a 2-1 win against Fulham which was a little bit irritating they're bottom of the table um we did get Bruno sent off but we still held on for a win. And today, another cup special. The quarterfinal second leg against Zenit at Pride Park. And then the FA Cup semi-final at a neutral venue, which I'm pretty sure is Wembley. I think the semi-finals are played at Wembley. So it could be a very successful season. Thank you for all your comments down below predicting what's going to happen this season. Uh, where we're going to finish. There was a bit of a mix. Someone said Champions League football, but no trophies. There was Champions League football and one trophy. Um, no, nobody said all the trophies. Nobody said you can win the league, win the Europa Conference League and the FA Cup. So, a bit disappointing with that one. Come on, folks. Sort it out. Sort it out. But, uh, yeah, overall, very happy, to be honest. It is going very well. The league is looking good. At one point, we were up to second, but we've just dropped down back into third, which is a little bit irritating. But uh, we are four points off Arsenal, who we've beaten. We're three points behind Man United, who we've beaten. And we are one point above Liverpool. Four points now, the gap to Leicester. So, potentially, Champions League could be on the cards for next season. And the question for today is, if we get into the Champions League, do we just go hell for leather, spend all of our transfer budget, buy whoever we want to give us the best chance of winning the Champions League. So let me know down below, do we still stick with net spend or just splurge it all if we qualify for the Champions League? That will be the final season of this save and we just spend as much money getting in as many players as we want to be absolutely amazing. Let me know down below, that would be absolutely brilliant. But let's dive into the game against Zenit St. Petersburg. I do need to go and sort out the team because I haven't done that yet. So uh, yeah, I'll pick the team and we'll be right back. Okay, this is how we're lining up for this game today. Henderson in goal, Vinicius Tobias, Bernard, Bielik and Hickey at the back. So Bielik back in. Uh, Laborde with an injury. Uh, we could be playing Holgate, but I feel like Bielik and Bernard have a good link at the back, so we're going to stick with that for today's game. Uh, we're going to have Doyle, Sambi Lukonga and Bird in midfield. Almada in front of them, Dilap and Nketiah up top. And look at all these wonderful connections in between midfield and attack. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, yeah, looking forward to that. On the bench, uh, Bazoo Bruno is the backup goalkeeper. Brandon Williams, Gumarez, or Bruno. Even Tony, Palestri, uh, Sibley, and Cleven as well. So lots of options. Lots of things we can work with. Bielik is still pissed off because he wants to start more games. So now, sir, is your chance to prove that you should be starting more games. Because this is a big game for us. Quarterfinals of a European competition. And it, yeah, it's a rubbish competition. But I would take a win in the Europa Conference League. Uh, because how successful would that mean we've made Derby County? It would be absolutely amazing. So point the finger. Don't allow complacency to step in. Everyone's pissed off with that. So we'll tell them all they're absolutely amazing and they can all make a difference. How about that? The only one demotivated was Thiago Almada. So expect him to not play very well, I guess. But there you go. I guess the surprise inclusion is probably Sambi Laconga over Bruno. Bruno getting sent off against Fulham sort of has influenced my uh, my selection there. But you can see they've got Wendell in midfield. Uh, they've got Malcolm out there, who's a good little nippy winger. Be an interesting game. Let's see how it goes. Okay, corner ball. Doyle to swing this one. Deshaun Bernard is beaten in the air, which is very annoying. Almada, he's looking demotivated, remember. Doyle crosses it in. Goal! Liam Delap 
What a finish from Leon Delap. You've got to love that. Absolutely superb. And uh, that makes it 4 2 on aggregate inside eight minutes here at Pride Park, which is good. Doyle swings it in. Deshaun Bernard was beaten in the air, and Almada kept it alive ahead of Barrios. Uh, put it down the line. Doyle with his left foot this time just cut it across. Delap is not going to miss that. The two X Man City players, or linking up together, I say X Man City, it's. Doyle was X-Man City. Liam Delap is technically still there and on loan. So he's still technically a City boy, isn't he? Venetius Tobias into La Conga. Gets it back from the tackle from Claudinho. Max Bird. We know he can bang them in, but he's put this one in and Delap misses the header. Remains 1-0. Ball forward then. It's one at the back by Bielik as uh, Delap picks this one up. Lays it off to Venetius Tobias, who's been such a good buy, to be honest. He's done really, really well since coming in from Shakhtar. Low cross in and Ketia. It was bouncing around and uh, Vasutin catches it on the rebound quite easily a bit of a shame that one is uh up the other end zenit st petersburg have a corner and it goes diviev is there and igor diviev is very good in football manager i'm surprised he's still at zenit to be honest but malcolm is a danger man and diviev totally free at the back post someone not marking correctly henderson did a star jump and couldn't keep it out unsurprisingly because that's not Really a categorised goalkeeper move, unless you're Peter Schmeichel. Dijon Bernard straight down the other end. Tommy Doyle fires in a corner. And Dijon Bernard has made it back to 2-1 in an absolute instant. And that is what you prefer. It's like instant coffee. It's like, bang, thank you very much. I'll have that. I don't drink coffee or tea. That's weird. I know. Everyone at least drink one's hot drink. I don't really drink any of them. So there you go. 2-1 up. Brilliant. Okay, free kick, Bielik, short to Hickey, not seen too much of Hickey on the left wing this time. Doyle, ball through, Eddie and Ketia, Nikes that tries to nick it through, Diviev with a good pass back to Yazvutin, who pushes it up towards Claudinho. Claudinho on the left, on a yellow card, so maybe we can take advantage of that, get someone to run at him. As uh, in it goes to Odziev, Barrios, tries to put it through, Vinicius Tobias, covers it well. Dijon Bernard, Doyle, Almada, Delap, ball through, over the top to Eddie and Ketia. Eddie and Ketia, oh, he's hit the post. He's hit the post and Loven gets it away. Oh, and Zenit St. Petersburg hold on. One down with about half time approaching. And is there going to be one last highlight before the end of the half? Diviev into Loven. Into Vasyutin, who goes long. And that's easy for Hickey to win that header. Bird, captain of this Derby County team, comes down the left hand side. Max Bird swings across in. Delaps there. It's over the bar. And that will probably take us to half time with a 2 1 lead. We are playing well, and Tiago, Tiago Amada is playing the worst out of everyone on a 6.4. So goes to show that being demotivated can, can really affect you. I'm going to say I'm very happy. Everyone looks happy with that answer. No need to say anything else. Second half. Free kick then. Malcolm for Zenit. Swings this one. Diviev again. <sighs> God, we really need to be marking him better from set pieces. We really do. Krugvoyov. Vovovoyov. Ozdyov. I'm, I really don't think I should manage in Russia. I think I'm struggling with the names. Diviev. Diviev all the way back to Vasyutin. Vasyutin goes long up towards Malcolm. Flicks it on. Bielik's there to cover. Bird. Bird back to Bielik. Into Bird again. Off it goes to Hickey. Hickey has potentially got a runner in front of him in Nketiah. Cuts back. Gives it to Max Bird. Max Bird back to Hickey. Hickey gets around the tackle. Lovely stuff. Hickey's still going. Gets towards the byline. Lays it back to Bird. There's a man on the edge, which is in Lekonga. But Hickey puts the cross in. Delap knocks it down. And Tiago Almada. Once you tell him he's playing really well, he absolutely loves life. Tiago Almada gets a goal. 3-1. 6-3 on aggregate. I think that deserves some praise for them. Hickey, I thought, was just going to cross this in first time. Ended up playing a little bit of a 1-2 with Max Bird. Got it back. Swings the cross in. Lovely knockdown from Delap and Almada on the volley. Pokes it in to that near post. Absolutely lovely. Free kick again to Zenit St. Petersburg. Loven into Vendel. Barrios back to Loven. Into Diviev. Krugoev. Uh, they're, they're making it quite well here. Kuznetsov, another decent player at the start of Football Manager. Kuznetsov. Krugoev goes all the way back to the goalkeeper again. That's been a ball they've liked doing. They've liked recycling back to the goalkeeper. Having a bit of a slow bit of possession. Keeping the ball. And then he hoofs it long. He's looking for Yuri Alberto. But it's Venetius Tobias that picks it up. Bielik. Bielik comes forward. Out to the left-hand side to Hickey. Into Bird. Max Bird back to Hickey again. Over the top looking for Delap. Surely to seal the game. It's a great save to be fair. But I think Delap was offside. Yeah, the flag's gone up. He was offside anyway. But uh, Loven to get the game back underway. Vendel into Adamov. Adamov back to Loven. Loven? Loven. Low, 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 Loven. Malcolm tackled easily. Doyle picks it up into Enketia. Delap's going again, but Enketia ignores the run this time. Sambi Lakonga on a yellow card. Into Enketia. Back to Hickey. 
Hickey again, got so much space to drive into on the left-hand side. Hickey just cuts back into Bird again. Bird could use Hickey again and does. Hickey to Nketiah, to Sambi Lakonga. Shot from range, great save from the keeper, and it's going to go behind for a corner. 20 minutes to go. 3-1 Derby County, 6-3 on aggregate. And Doyle over the ball. Doyle swings in a corner. Deshaun Bernard beat, and then the rebound. It fell to Bielik, and uh, a free kick has been given for a foul on the goalkeeper, I think. So on a yellow card, we've taken off Sambi Lakonga, bought on um, Bruno, and we've got another highlight, which is uh, which is good. Diviev back to the goalkeeper, Van Zuten. Loven just clears it away. Kuznetsov knocks it inside. Read well by Deshaun Bernard. Almada, Delap. Almada, Bird, what a ball through that is. Delap, oh, what a goal that is. Absolutely superb. His 34th goal of the season. This boy is incredible. 10 minutes to go, 4-1 Derby, 7-3 on aggregate. I think we can call that game, set, match. But this was a lovely move here. Delap back to Doyle, into Bird. Lovely through ball to uh, Delap, round the goalkeeper. Tucks it underneath him. Lovely, lovely stuff. So final two substitutions, just so we go down to the last five minutes. Palestri on up front for Enketia and Cleven coming on at right back for Vinicius Tobias, who was superb. But we're not going to get any more highlights. That is that. Into the semi-finals we go of the Europa Conference League. And that is bloody outstanding. Well done, everybody. Who are we going to get? in? I think the semi-finals already been drawn. But if you look at this, I, again, it's Valencia, right? That's the only team you really want to avoid. I think us v Valencia in the final is what everyone would want to see. I feel like that's what everyone wants to see. So... You know, game, let's let's do it that way. So we get through a lot of money coming in. We got Trabs on Spore, which is great. Really don't mind that. Uh Derby are led by Delap. He is absolutely amazing. Superb in front of goal. Um post match. Yep, yeah, send the assistance to that one. Fixture rearrangement. So Man City, Leicester, and Chelsea all having games rearranged. Training schedule is gonna change, and Sambi Lakonga will miss the semi-final. Uh, through suspension. Is it a one-legged? No, it is. Yeah, I was going to say it must be two-legged still. But right, we'll, well, we might, because we're going to come back in such quick succession. Maybe we'll just do sh shorter episodes and I'll make sure they're daily. And we'll come back for the uh, Conference League semi final second leg. So I did say it'll be two games this episode. It's going to be one because games are coming thick and fast for the end of the season. We've literally only got one, two, three, four, five, four games, and then we're back for the next episode. So I will probably be recording this straight away after this one. Get your comments in on this video. I'll catch up with them as soon as I can. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and it's getting to crunch time in what could be the penultimate season of the save. Thank you for watching. For now, I'm out. Cheers.